Now, YouTubers, um, you might have seen in some of my videos, I have one of my cars in like a bubble. Um, I've just gone downstairs and noticed the bubble's down, and obviously the fan isn't working. Now, these fans are supposed to have a five year lifespan or something along them lines anyway. It's a 12 volt fan, 10 watts, just a normal, I think it's a 7 inch fan or whatever it is, just a normal fan. Um, and it's basically stopped working. Now what I've noticed is, hopefully this shows up on camera, is the actual cable or the, the, the socket is very corroded. Now I put my meter on this, it's a 12 volt. Um, hope you can see that. Upside down, but should be able to see that. Uh, basically, it's a 12 volt charger. I put my meter on it, and as we can see, we've got 12 volts. So we're okay as regards that we know the charge is working. But as I take a closer look at this, this is all kind of rusty and pitted along there, which obviously isn't good, and the connection is all corroded and as we flip it over again the, the might not be able to see but the connections going into the board looks corroded now I reckon this is fine now to be fair when I spin it I can't hear anything bad there's no doesn't seem to be kind of like grind or anything it still seems to be spinning quite free so I reckon it's just my connections so I'm going to try and clean them up and um, put them back. Now I don't think these fans are particularly too expensive to buy but I mean um, you know but still I reckon we can fix this for, for basically nothing and uh, however you look at it that's cheaper than buying one. So I'm just going to uh, get some contact cleaner give all this a clean inside here again inside there I'm going to try and plug it in, but like I said, I still think it's the connections at the back here. But I'm going to do that first, plug it in, and we'll see what the story is. Now, just as I was um, going to have a look at this and basically take this fan apart and strip it and blah, 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 blah. What I've noticed is, very simple, look, one of the wires has come off. Now, this doesn't get moved. So, it's, it's, it's been in the same place. But anyway, so all I'm going to try to get at is, look... Yeah, you can buy these. I think they're around 30 euros. I think that's what they are to replace. Um, but at the end of the day, 30 euros, 30 euros. If it doesn't cost you anything, then even better. Basically, like I said, this wire is broke. And all I've done is literally just paired the wire back. I'm just going to put it on the thing to test it. And hey presto, it works. So, I'm just going to solder this back. Put it back on, sorted, fixed for free, and uh, yeah, it's always best just to check. See how sad my poor Cozzy looks, drenched in, well, just looks like a bit of plastic burnt over it. Let's see if our fix has definitely worked. And go to the front, plug it in. and see if it works. Now I do like the design because that whole unit just slots in so if it ever does go bad you don't you know you can just slot it in and out in a matter of seconds. Now I put it in, repaired the wire, cleaned up the connections, moment of truth that we know it works but let's see if it works properly. Switched it on and there we go. Now it's going to take I don't know maybe 30 seconds or so maybe a minute for it to be uh, properly uh, properly inflated give a bit of a helping hand just lift it up like that as we can see even now it's going up if you look at the shiny cozy engine and you can't really see because all the crap that's on it on the cover but yes there is a lot of chrome shiny
Now we're back up. So it worked and it's free. Look, I hope this helps. Subscribe and like the video. And don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one.